India, officially the world's fastest growing major economy, has been making significant strides on the global economic front. One of the most telling indicators of this growth is the surge in foreign direct investment, or FDI, which has jumped to a staggering $70.8 billion in 2023. This investment boom is not a standalone phenomenon. The Indian stock market has been breaking records, crossing the $4 trillion mark. This milestone is not just a number, it's a testament to the growing confidence in Indian corporations and their ability to generate wealth. India's financial sector expansion, with well-regulated banking and a burgeoning stock market, sets the stage for investment and growth. The Indian rupee, the lifeblood of the economy, has also maintained a commendable stability, despite global economic fluctuations. This stability is a testament to the robustness of India's economic policies and its growing influence on the global stage. In terms of foreign reserves the situation is even more promising. The reserves have soared to new heights, exceeding $620 billion. These reserves are not just a number on a balance sheet, they are a vital insurance policy against external shocks, providing a much-needed buffer in a volatile global economy. Projections indicate that by 2027, if this growth trend persists, India could become the third largest economy globally. Some reports even suggest that by 2072, India might surpass the US to claim the second largest economy spot, as projected by Goldman Sachs. However, these positive estimations emphasize the need for substantial improvements in areas of weaknesses. Let us look into details how India is becoming the next economic superpower. Reflecting back, India was among the top 10 global economies in the mid-1980s. However, it slipped off that list for over two decades as several nations, particularly China, surged ahead. Yet, by 2022, India resurged, attaining a spot in the top five for the first time in history. Forecasts widely indicate that by 2030, it will likely trail only China and the USA, firmly positioning itself as one of the world's strongest top economies. India's overarching tale of growth, development and poverty reduction narrates a saga of continuous and escalating improvements, especially in the past 15 years. Coupled with its burgeoning economic influence, India is steadily amplifying its global standing, gaining increasing geopolitical importance in the evolving global order, emerging as a significant force among great nations and powers. India's strategic alliances span continents, strengthening its global standing. The India-US-Russia relationship plus careful navigation of complexities with China and neighboring nations has shaped India's global stance. Multilateral forums like the Quad, G20, and BRICS has empowered India to influence global policies while necessitating nuanced diplomacy. Additionally, India demographics with nearly 65% below age 35 signify a potent dividend, potentially adding 2% to GDP growth annually. However, the path to economic leadership is not all rosy, with job creation being a major concern. In the past year, the tech sector, a cornerstone of India's economic growth, faced a significant challenge. Over 200,000 jobs were lost, marking a 40% increase from the previous year. Even as we move towards the end of 2023, layoffs continued to make headlines. Major companies like Paytm were not immune to this trend, reflecting an industry-wide struggle. Yet, amidst these challenges, there's a glimmer of hope. The logistics and mobility sectors are emerging as potential arenas for new job opportunities. These sectors are predicted to add approximately 3.9 million jobs in the coming months. This surge in job creation is fueled by the increasing demand for digital and sustainable solutions in transport and supply chain management, a trend that's expected to continue. However, it's essential to put this figure into perspective. While nearly 4 million new jobs may seem impressive, it's a drop in the ocean when considering the needs of the Indian job market. With a young, dynamic, and rapidly growing workforce, India's job market requires a much more substantial influx of opportunities to keep pace with its population's aspirations and needs. To illustrate, let's consider a simple fact. Each year, India adds more than 12 million youths to its working age population. This demographic trend underscores the scale of the challenge that lies ahead. Even with the anticipated growth in the logistics and mobility sectors, there's a vast gap to fill. To truly capitalize on its demographic dividend and ensure sustained economic growth, India must not only create more jobs but also foster an environment that nurtures innovation, entrepreneurship, and skill development. 
Only then can the country hope to fully harness the potential of its young and ambitious workforce. While the anticipation is for new job opportunities, it barely scratches the surface of India's job market needs. Beyond the internal challenges, India faces potential economic threats from global conflicts. One of the most significant external threats comes from conflicts in West Asia. This region is a crucial player in the global economy, and any instability there could have ripple effects that reach India's shores. Let's elaborate. West Asia is a hub for oil production and India is one of the largest importers of oil globally. Conflicts in this region can disrupt the supply of oil causing prices to soar. This could lead to increased inflation in India, as the cost of transport and goods rises. It's not just the direct impact of higher oil prices. A surge in energy costs can have a knock-on effect on various sectors, creating a domino effect of increasing prices. In addition to inflation, these conflicts could also affect trade dynamics. You see, West Asia is not just a supplier of oil, but a significant trade partner for India. Disruptions to trade routes or increased trade barriers could result in reduced exports from India to these regions. This, in turn, could negatively impact India's trade balance and foreign exchange reserves. Moreover, the uncertainty caused by these conflicts can also affect investor sentiment. Foreign investors may become wary of investing in a country that is heavily dependent on a conflict-ridden region. This could result in reduced foreign direct investment which has been a key driver of India's recent economic growth. However, it's important to note that these are potential threats. They represent scenarios that could happen, not ones that will definitely happen. The actual impact will depend on a variety of factors, including the severity and duration of the conflicts, the response of global markets, and importantly, how India itself responds to these challenges. The impact of these conflicts could lead to costlier imports and hinder exporters, posing a challenge to India's economic progress. Despite these challenges, India's resilience in the face of adversity cannot be overlooked. Over the years, the nation has battled a myriad of trials, each one testing its mettle, each one shaping its economic trajectory. Let's take a moment to look back at a few of these instances. One of the most significant trials in recent history was the global pandemic. It was a blow that shook the world, but India managed to bounce back. The nation's response was a blend of rapid policy implementation, fiscal stimulus packages, and an unprecedented push towards digitization. The result? A faster recovery than anticipated, with an impressive rebound in economic growth. Then there were the conflicts. Regional disputes and border tensions have been a constant over the years, yet India has remained unyielding, maintaining a steady economic course even amidst geopolitical unrest. This resilience is not just a testament to its robust foreign policy, but also to its ability to leverage international partnerships for economic stability. Economic slowdowns too have been a part of India's journey, yet each slowdown was met with reformative measures aimed at stimulating growth. Be it liberalizing foreign direct investment norms or implementing landmark tax reforms, India's proactive and adaptive approach has been instrumental in overcoming these slowdowns. The nation has also faced its fair share of geopolitical tensions, particularly due to its strategic location. These tensions have had the potential to disrupt trade routes and impact economic stability. Yet, India has navigated these complexities with astute diplomacy and strategic alliances, ensuring that its economic progress remains unhampered. So, is India on track to becoming the next economic powerhouse? It's a question that's been captivating economists and investors across the globe. As we've seen, the journey to becoming an economic powerhouse is no bed of roses. It's a complex tapestry of opportunities and challenges. India's economic growth is undoubtedly impressive, but the nation must navigate persistent job creation challenges and potential external threats. Yet, the resilience India has shown in the face of adversity bodes well for its economic future. It's this resilience, coupled with sustained growth, that paints an intriguing picture of India's economic trajectory. The journey to becoming an economic powerhouse is fraught with challenges, but with resilience and sustained growth, India is certainly on an interesting path. That all for today. Thanks for watching.